Morning, Trinity Edge. It's me, Pastor Ashley. Are you guys ready for week three of our Bible verse challenge? Awesome. Let's dive in. We're carrying on through the Bible. We've gone through Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Today we are in Deuteronomy and Joshua. Deuteronomy 6 verse 5. Deuteronomy is another one of those books of the law where God was giving special rules to his people. Do you remember last week our verse from Leviticus that was to love others as much as you love yourself? And in our Trinity Edge video, we talked about how that was something Jesus taught as well in the New Testament and how he actually said that was the second greatest commandment. Well, our verse today from Deuteronomy 6 verse 5 is the greatest commandment and law that God gave his people. It's this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your strength. Deuteronomy 6 verse 5. Well, God gave all of those laws to his people, and that was through the life of Moses, and he was their leader at that time as they journeyed through the wilderness. At the end of Moses' life, then it was time for a new leader, and the new leader was Joshua. That's the very next book after Deuteronomy, and it tells the continuing story of God's special people, the Israelites. They were done their time in the wilderness, and they were ready to move into the promised land, the land that God had promised them and was leading them to, and Joshua was their leader. And he had some amazing things to teach the people. He crossed the sea, uh, the, the river Jordan with them and brought them into the promised land. Uh, our verse from Joshua is Joshua 1 verse 5. It says this, No one will be able to defeat you all your life. Just as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you or forsake you. So Trinity Edge, these are the verses that we have uh, for this week. Deuteronomy 6 verse 5 and Joshua 1 verse 5. Um, and I have a challenge for you. I would love for you to think about that verse in Joshua. Just as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. If you get a chance to look at the life of Moses and the life of Joshua, how do you think that they're different? How was Joshua like Moses and how was he different from Moses? What kind of a leader was Moses and what kind of a leader was Joshua? Those are some really big questions, but those are some things that can help us be interested as we're reading the Bible to see more than just the story of what's happening to the people in the Bible, but what that story means to us and what does it have to teach us? Because we have a lot of lessons that we can learn from the life of Moses and the way uh, that he led people and the way that uh, he had a relationship with God. And there's lots of things for us to learn from the life of Joshua as well and the kind of leader that he was and the way that he lived out his faith as well. There's a lot of really awesome verses in uh, Joshua about God being, uh, the people's defender and uh, fighting on their behalf, protecting them. And we saw that earlier in Exodus 14, verse 14 as well. Um, God shows up in really big ways in uh, all of the Bible, but uh, in the Old Testament in the way that he cares for his people. And I hope you uh, remember today that God shows up in big ways for you too. Earlier on Sunday in our children's moment, we were talking about how God does big things and uh, we can have big faith that he's going to do big things. When you pray and talk to him, he hears you and he will answer your prayers. So that's my encouragement to you guys today, um, grade five, six. And I pray that you're blessed by that and that you are having a, gr a great time learning these verses with the memory verse challenge. Don't forget, get your verses in, um, get your name into the draw. The draw is happening on Sunday. Yeah, your guys' verses are a little bit bigger, a little longer than uh, Trinity Kids, and that's because I know you guys are up to the challenge. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I've got some big plans in the works for uh, some summer stuff that we can do together within Alberta Health Guidelines. Also, if you haven't heard yet, our playground is open. 
now at Trinity Baptist Church, which means, again, within Alberta health guidelines, you gotta be safe, washing your hands, keeping safe distance, all those good things. Um, but, you know, make it out here to play and to have fun and be outside. I hope you guys are doing well with your schoolwork, getting towards the end of the school year. Grade six graduates, I have some big plans that we're putting together for you guys for June 14th, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be great. Um, I hope you're all well. I'm praying for you guys every day. I love you. I miss you and uh, we'll talk again soon. So bye everybody.